with a look at your traffic and weather together. Daniel, taking a look at what you're tracking for today, along with those temperature warm ups. Yeah, big warm up for today. Even though we were already in the 80s, it's going to be even warmer today, Robbie. Yeah, and, and we've been talking about we're pretty much seeing the same thing yesterday, just a little bit, a couple degrees higher. Yeah, I'd say a couple degrees higher on the low end and the high end. So today you're starting off in the upper 40s and yesterday we were right around say 46 to 47 for those lows. We also hit 80 yesterday for the high temperature, but I think we're going to be in between about 83 and 85, which should be the warmest day of the year so far. But we do have big changes headed our way, mainly with tomorrow. More clouds are going to move in. You're going to see a lot more wind and the temperature is going to be dropping very quickly tomorrow afternoon. But don't worry, that warm weather will be back for your week. Weekend. So let's talk about these winds first because I'm already tracking some stronger winds for you over there in Cochise County. You have Bisbee, Sierra Vista, Tombstone, all likely going to have those wind gusts between 15 and 20 miles per hour as early as 9 a.m. Now I do think Tucson will have their strongest winds at around 2 to 3 o'clock, really ranging in between 20 and 30 miles per hour. This isn't necessarily the gustiest day that we've seen, but it does tell you that the winds are going up. But if you go down to spots like Bisbee or Tombstone, there's potential there for wind gusts that could be as high as 35 to 40 throughout the last half of the day. But if you live in Tucson, go ahead and keep an eye out for tomorrow because you're already going to have those wind gusts as high as 20 during the morning. Could easily be in the 40s as we get into tomorrow afternoon. So that's something we'll be tracking throughout the day for you. Now, today's highs, I think, will be ranging between 83 and 85, as I mentioned before. Most of us stopped yesterday between about 79 and 81 so that it is adding a couple degrees to that high temperature. The dry air that we're seeing has a lot to do with the reason why we're having these big temperature swings. And you can also see some spots like Wilcox almost 80 degrees. Benson actually reaching 80. Bisbee, which is usually very chilly, stopping at 74 for the high temperature there. And early tomorrow, it's still going to be on the warmer side compared to what we typically have even around Tucson. You're having about a 30 degree, 35 degree temperature drop across most of the area because of that drier air, but your high tomorrow will be stopping in the upper 60s instead. And that's because of this low that we've been tracking for you for the last few days. It's still off the coast of California, but it's going to quickly make its way closer towards Tucson and the high pressure center that we have close by isn't expected to move too much. So whenever you have those two that close, that tells you stronger winds are going to be here. And thankfully, it's only going to be for the later part of today and tomorrow. By Friday, a lot of this should be calmed down, but we're still going to be left with cooler afternoons, stopping at 68 degrees there. That morning could be all the way down into the upper 30s. And as you get to Saturday and Sunday, really fantastic conditions here for you. 77, 81, very easy to get outside both days, and the winds will have calmed down and the mornings really fantastic starting off in the mid 40s for you during that time. That was weather. Let's go ahead and look at traffic before we head on outside today. And things are still good out there on the road.